you know, progesterone, I think, is the real needle mover for menopause. That's been my personal feeling. That's what I've seen after looking at literally hundreds of thousands of hormone tests that have come through our platform. I think progesterone is one of the biggest needle movers. But then when we go to put the creams on, it's it's a whole different game. Yes. So sometimes people won't absorb the creams very well. It's really it is about finding what delivery form is going to work best for you and also what type of hormone therapy are you going to do? There's several types. There's static dosing. A lot of doctors will do every single day and they'll do of progesterone as well as every single day of bias, which is a combination of estradiol and estriol. There's three kinds of estrogen. There's estrone, estradiol, and estriol. Estrone is the more inflammatory of the three estrogens. It sits 100% on what is called the alpha receptor. There's alpha, there's beta, there's other ones, but those are the two main ones. We produce estrone out of our fat cells and estrone can convert down to estradiol and estradiol can convert over to estrone. So they go back and forth. And then the two of them can also convert down into estriol, which is the weakest of the three. And that only binds to the beta receptor. And so the doctors will oftentimes mix estradiol and the estriol together because estradiol will bind 50% to the alpha, 50% to the beta. So they'll put in the estriol because it only sits on the beta receptor and the beta receptor isn't proliferative. The alpha mm. is. So the mm. estrone is the one that's linked more to breast cancer because it can be proliferative. So it doesn't cause it, mm. but if you have breast cancer cells, it can make it go there and grow. When we swallow estrogen of any kind, so it sounds like you're on a bias trochee. So we end up swallowing. I'm about, on a trochee, yeah. Yeah. So we end up still swallowing about 40 to 50% of trochees, even though they're sitting in the, like, obviously, right? We're going to swallow some of that. When you swallow estradiol, it has to go through the first hepatic pass of the liver, and then it will be converted to estrone, the stronger of the ones. Now that said, is remember, it can still convert down into estradiol throughout the system, proliferate, like inside the body, not mm. through the liver, inside the body. So when you swallow it, you're going to be getting a lot of estrone which is the more inflammatory one that mm. is not the one that is our primary hormone. So estradiol is like the mother of all hormones in our body. Mm -hmm. it is the, yep. I think it's the most important one because of its far reaching effects on our health. Progesterone though is needed to counterbalance that estrogen. So progesterone is wonderful. So some women are really like, oh, I love my progesterone because it's so calming. It's a very yeah. anti-anxiety. Yeah. It helps us sleep. It's like, yep. oh, amazing. It Amen, sister. All right? of that. Yes. Yeah. And that can be great. And it gets very safe to take it up to a certain amount orally. So up mm -hmm. to about 200 milligrams, that is safe to take. There's a little bit oh, of Oh, I'm only taking 20 milligrams. I'm super sm small amount. Oh, yeah. That's very tiny because 80% of oral progesterone converts to the metabolites. So you're, you'd are you only mm -hmm. be getting a very tiny bit of progesterone. So we always yeah. try and start with about 100 milligrams to 200 milligrams for menopausal women because that's going to give you about what your body would normally produce of progesterone and that's yep. enough to counterbalance the growth typically of the estrogen so we want that in there because that's breast protective it's been shown to be very breast protective uterine protective bone protective brain protective we want that progesterone even if we don't have a uterus so when you also swallow it you raise something called sex hormone binding globulin mm. when you swallow estrogen when you raise this protein shbg shbg you can think about it as a little bus that shuttles your hormones all over your body and when it's on the bus when your hormones are on the bus you can't utilize the hormones the hormones have to get off the bus in order to dock onto a receptor and send its message through so when you're swallowing you have to watch that shbg number because what it's going to do is if it gets too high, it's going to bind up primarily testosterone, second mm. to that estrogen, third to that dihydrotestosterone. Mm -hmm. So then you're kind of moot, you know, you're taking yeah. it and it's like you're binding up these hormones that you're trying to get into your system. So I personally don't recommend swallowing the estrogen. The progesterone, mm. yes, it's fantastic, but testosterone and estrogen will raise that SHBG and the estradiol will convert to estrone.